Gen 2 for beginners? Hmm, count me in on that one, hey? <laughs> We're looking at Savion 9 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to Savion 9. Now this is what I like to see in a Linux distribution. I'm running this in live CD mode and I have optical compositing already enabled. I didn't have to install any special um, guest editions or anything like that. And I am getting the full GNOME experience. This is something we should see in more Linux distributions. Sabion 9 attempts to bridge the gap and bring in Gen 2 to beginners. Sabion comes with a number of accessories which will allow you to get the most out of the system. One in particular that I really like is the Quake Terminal. We press F12 to use it. You will see that we now have a terminal that we can issue commands to. This is using kernel 3.4, so it's very up-to-date. If you want to get your game on, there's a few games already pre-installed with, pre with this. You get uh, a few graphics tools, nothing fancy, just an image viewer, a photo manager, the GIMP, of course, and the events document viewer, which will pretty much open up any document that you could want. And then, of course, you get a number of uh, tools for accessing the Internet, specifically a BitTorrent client, uh, XChat IRC, uh, Empathy, and Chromium. You get the full LibreOffice suite. Okay, and then uh, you get a few other things here, such as backup, a backup utility. Uh, you get uh, a firewall manager. Your Wake preferences are located here. And then, of course, I'm going to show you Rego in a moment. When you click Savvy on here, all of the documentation you could possibly want is located here. Fantastic for beginners, because uh, you know, um, you know, I, I can't stress the importance of a beginner's distribution having this documentation available for users, especially having links to live help where they can get that, you know, a place where they can report bugs. Um, very, very nice indeed. In sound and video, you pretty much get everything that you need for uh, playing any media files, but I do recommend that you consider installing VLC. And then, of course, all of your system tools are right here for tweaking your system, and some universal access tools are also available. Installing applications should be a breeze. You get the Rego application browser. You simply type in what you want, and it will give you a list of all of the items there. For instance, games, you can click more info, and it'll give you more information on the uh, item that you wish to download. It tells you about licensing, gives you screenshots, if they have them available, and that sort of thing. I really like the way this is laid out. Okay, you can even find graphics, applications. So pretty much this should be a nice distribution for beginners to use, uh, and uh, it should allow them to be able to easily install applications without spending too much time in the terminal. I really like the way this works, and as stated before, bottom line, um, distributions like this that you can pop into VirtualBox and get the compositing effects. That is a really nice touch. I'm really glad that the developers thought of this. So if you're new to Linux and you want to try something different, maybe you should consider downloading a live DVD of Sabion and uh, playing with it and see if this distribution is right for you. Mm -hmm. 